The moment that you were waiting for your whole life has finally come. You have the opportunity to share things about your business, to talk to that investor and to shine under the likes of the success. You are going to Shark Tank, you are going to the Unicorn Hunters, you are going somewhere but then you are sent home because you don't have a pitch deck. Today we are going to talk about what's a pitch deck and how to actually use it for good things in your business. Before going there, like, share, comment and subscribe and also activate the notification so then you don't miss out all this information. Imagine that you are in an elevator with somebody, that person enters, you talk, you give an amazing elevator pitch which is a one minute description or a low or a shorter description about your business and then that person say, I want to talk to you, take my car, you take the car, you talk over WhatsApp, that person say, hey, I love your idea, I really love your idea, like Donald Trump and that person is asking you for a pitch deck and you say like, what the heck, I have a nice idea, I actually have a project that is making some money but I don't have any explanation of it and you have two ways, one way is for you to say, say like no I don't need this whoever believes in me they are going to believe in me or they are going to have a moment or you are going to have a moment in which you say okay I need to do this and not to be a bobo litro that is actually not aware of the things that need to be done in order to make this happen so having a pitch deck is actually not just a decoration in a business having a pitch deck is actually a tool that can help you to leverage your statements or your speeches and can actually help you to do less work in a shorter period of time and also to understand better your audience to understand better your your customer to do better your thing if you are actually somebody who is engaging with a customer or with a potential investor having a pitch deck would engage more that person and would give them the trust to actually invest in you but if you have a bootstrap company that is based in the community and you have a pitch deck you can actually use it to show your community what your commitment is and what things you have in mind whenever it comes to design a project so talking about the types of pitch deck you actually have three types of pitch deck one is called concept note one is called investment proposal and one is it's called community paper. And these type of pitch decks, they are different in their application and they are different in the configuration. A concept note, as we talked in a previous video, is normally used for explaining to a potential customer about your product, for also showing what you are going to do for them and showing them your skills. It's what replaced your CV and your portfolio that people are not interested about now and it's to giving them the assurance that you are actually going to add value to the product and to their services. Now, a community paper, it's a document that you use to show the people that are actually following you or engage with you what are the type of things that you believe in what are the type of things that your product can make for them or can do for them and what's the assurance that they can receive for your company let's say it's like the bible of your community or your group in case that you have a bootstrap company and that you want to show them that they matter and that you also want to share with them some guidelines so then like they can also help you and contribute to grow your community and to have a more curated and better approach and the investment proposal is what normally is known as a pitch deck that is the document that you normally use to show people who are potential investors what your company is about and what are the things that you normally do. All these documents are normally uh, surrounded or are composed by two main components, problem and solution. And these main components are described in different ways. These, uh, main, these main components are split in parts and sometimes, for example, they are spread uh, across the document in different issues or different things that you're addressing. And they are explained, like for example, via the validation of the type of customers that you're addressing or the type of things that you are doing or the type of community that you are creating. But having a problem and a solution clear, it's very important because it's a magic combination that can help you to actually create and gravitate around other concepts that will help you to sell more and to sell better. And these other concepts that will help you to sell more and, and sell better are the things that are actually a part of the spine of your actual concept note or your actual investment proposal, your community paper. In this case, are the USP, as we explained in a previous video, is the un unique selling point is that thing that makes you different and is based in what your customer wants what other people sell and what you can do for them and this united unique selling proposition can help you also to leverage a lot of things and to go above and beyond and create value and to add more things to your customer the second thing is the journey and it's having clear what are the times of implementation in which you want to actually make this thing happen whether it is a timeline or whether it is a schedule or whether it is for example a program of development of your product you actually need to have a journey in which you can actually connect with people and tell them okay this is going to happen and this is how it's going to happen and then finally let's say across these all topics the third thing that is very important for you to have or to keep in mind whenever you are going to develop a proposal is the outcome the outcome is basically what's going to happen whether it is with their money or with the product or with the community whenever you grow and whenever you expand or whatever in your scale these are the characteristics that normally you should keep in mind if you are going to do a pitch deck but now let's talk about this what are the things that you can actually make with a pitch deck
deck or with the type of proposal that we are creating. As we talk, is to get more customers, to get more investment, or to grow your community. What are the values that you normally share when you are creating a pitch deck? It gives you accountability, transparency, and trust. So if you have this magic combination, if you have things covered with these a few things, and if you keep this in mind in order to create a structure for whatever type of pitch deck you are doing, you can actually have a potential good offer or a potential good thing that you can show to potential investors, to potential customers, or to a potential community. This is the information for today. If you liked it, share, subscribe, comment, and of course, activate the notification so everybody can know about this.